Hey guys, it's Denise here, NOLA Collectibles, and welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do a Thread Up Mixed Rescue Box Mystery Unboxing. This one is shipped to me from Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. These guys cost now $48. You're supposed to get 15 pieces of miscellaneous jewelry. They are so hard to come by these days. I was super excited that I got one, even though like Mechanicsburg for me has been a bit mediocre. Um, but anyway, beggars can't be choosers. I'm so glad that you're here. I know I have been a little MIA. I took a little break last weekend over Memorial Day weekend just to kind of ch chillax, relax, all of those things. It's been very hectic lately for me. So <laughs> just trying to give myself a little bit of a break. We've become a little bit more civically engaged lately. And so that's been taking up quite a bit of my time here in the community. Um, so anyway, let's get right into it. I'm a part-time reseller. I sell primarily on eBay. My store name there is also NOLA Collectibles. And so that's what that guy was looking like. I'm going directly here because why not? We always love a good J. Crew moment. I have my magnet, I have my loop, I am ready. And so what do we have here? So these are actually very cute. We kind of have these like little paillette looking flower drop earrings. These are really, really cute. And they're kind of made out of their gold tone. They got the brushed gold and they look like this. They're really pretty. I really like these. I think these are really cute little like statement -y set of earrings from J. Crew. Nicely made, they look brand new don't look like they've been worn at all and I like I always like with J Crew they have the brushed gold kind of finish on all of their stuff and then with the earrings specifically they always have like the uh, oversized back which I, I don't know why I just like it. it's little aesthetics like that that like I enjoy so yeah that's cute I think that's a great little pair of earrings right there and I think those will definitely sell I am gonna go right here we've got as per usual tons of little baggies from the thread up and so here I have this just looks like a gunmetal kind of cuff bracelet and it's got like a little cat head on it and I was just looking on the inside of it to see if I saw kind of like any marks there and I don't know it's not magnetic so I was thinking yeah it could be I don't know it looks just like that black kind of gunmetal color I don't think I would expect this to be silver but you know I checked it anyway I don't know no name on this. I'll definitely take a closer look at it with my loop to see if I see any precious metal markings or anything like that. But like I said, I think this is just a little costume jewelry piece and uh, no name on that. But it's cute. So we've got that guy. Also pulled out this like giant little bag for what looks like a teeny tiny pair of earrings in there. And what do we have? It looks like we have a pair of cubic zirconia and so I'm looking real quick with my magnet I do see some purity on the back yeah and this says 925 so we have a teeny tiny little pair of sterling silver um, music note earrings here with a little bit of a cubic zirconia detail right there what I would assume to be cubic zirconia teeny teeny tiny and oh you know what I'm seeing too the one on the left is missing a stone <laughs> so this teeny tiny pair of little sterling silver earrings and then we're missing a little cubic zirconia stone in the left one right there so okay I mean these are they call these rescue boxes and so you're gonna get stuff that might be a little damaged or not as new so that's uh you know that stinks because that kind of I think that would have been okay to sell that kind of would have been a fun little item but I probably will be putting that in my scrap pile, my scrap silver pile. And uh, my scrap silver pile, I actually sell my precious metals to a place called Midwest Refineries. It's um, a smelting refinery. And I don't sell to pawn shops because pawn shops sometimes take up to 30% of a cut on your gold and silver. So I sell directly to this refinery. I get 95% value on my gold. I forget what I get on my silver. I wanna say maybe it's like 85% and I have to double check. And it's the most easy process ever. I just, you just send it, you like put it in a box, you mail it in and I get a check like a week later. It's fabulous and it's always highly accurate. So that's what I do. So I'm gonna get ready to put all my silver together. I have like, I don't know, like a pound of silk scrap silver. <laughs> um, so this is just like a little kind of, you know, statement necklace here. I'm not seeing any kind of name or anything on this. 
It's obviously plastic. You can kind of hear the way it sounds. Uh, but we've got two little layers here of draping bead beadwork there, various shades of orange and a kind of pink and salmon. And so, yeah, this is kind of cute. It looks like it's got a little bit of wear to it. So you just have like kind of no name, little statement name necklace there. And so this is usually my experience with mechanics work. Um, <laughs> they usually send like a lot of no name jewelry. And so, yeah. Not totally surprised here, but hopefully we, maybe we'll get a couple of fun surprises. Uh, just pulled this one out, and this is like a really, really long necklace here. It's actually very cute. We've got like a little brushed gold kind of detail down here, and then we have all of this like really cute enamel work throughout. And some of this enamel on top of the enameling has rhinestones, which is really, really cute. I'll show you that right there. And I like the colors on this. It's very springy. We have like you know, the peach and the blue and the gold. It's like very spring summer, I think. I like it a whole lot. And this to me actually, I'm thinking, let's see. Let me take a close look at this. If I see anything, it is very cute. It is Stella and Dot. So, okay, I'm not too surprised by that. It's a, the Stella and Dot is right on the back there. You can see the little Stella and Dot logo. This is very cute. I think this is a great little piece of jewelry. Probably really fun to layer up or to double up around your neck. And it's very lightweight. And like I said, I think it's, uh, I like some of the detail on here. I like these little rhinestones that are on top of the enamel work. Very, very sweet. And Stella and Dot does tend to sell good for me. I mean, it always depends on the piece, but generally it sells pretty well for me. So I'm happy with that. I think that's a really cute necklace. I like it a lot. Great. Little Stella and Dot necklace. Not too bad, not too bad. Going here to these baggies right here. I'm seeing a ring. And what do we have? We have a costume jewelry ring here kind of with faux enamel like faux silver tone this is just silver tone it's not sterling silver or anything and we've got the black enameling with some C cubic zirconia kind of or rhinestone detail on there it's super small it feels like maybe like a size five uh, but it's a big kind of like chunky statementsy ring right there are we focused let's focus people and that's kind of like what that looks like so that's just like kind of like a generic little costume jewelry piece I am seeing this, this little dude here is like a bracelet. And I'm looking at it really quick just before I show you guys because I am seeing some kind of purity mark on it. And this one says 925 Italy and we have an M on it. There's like an M and we have what we have here is like a two-tone sterling silver and gold tone kind of a vermeil overlay on this. And it's just a really pretty kind of sterling silver little bracelet here. Let's focus. Yeah, so you can kind of see the middle has a little bit of a gold wash, gold color to it. And then it's just this like really cute kind of modernist link. It does look very much like a, like a piece of Italian jewelry. I think it's very nice. This is a, a nice bracelet. It's in very good condition. I'm not seeing any kind of significant wear on it. I like that it has this oversized lobster claw clasp on it. Usually that makes things a little bit easier to put on, like when you're putting on your bracelet. So yeah, that's a nice piece of jewelry right there. I like that bracelet. Okay, so so far, obviously, I really love the J. Crew earrings. I like this bracelet. I like the Stella and Dot. Those to me are the winners right now. Maybe, maybe we'll find more treasure. Let's see. Okay, we have a, a little clamper bracelet here, and then we have, I'm not seeing any kind of name or anything on it, but we have green enamel and kind of like a brownish color too, and that guy is looking like that, and this is a, a clamper bracelet. So, opens like that, and that's looking like that. It's it's not bad. I, I don't think it's you know, it's, it's nice looking. I think it's a nice looking bracelet. It probably looks okay on. Let's try it. Let's try it with this. You know, it kind of goes with my little stack I got going on here. Cause look, I got the moon glow. I got a vintage moon glow ring today. I have the gold stone there. 
which um, I really like a lot. It's like a vintage, this is like a vintage clamper, the gold gold with the gold stone centerpiece. I have some stretchies and then, yeah, that actually kind of does go with that. <laughs> I would probably remove a couple of these bracelets. I mean, I'm a maximalist. I do like to say that more is more, but uh, yeah, I would probably take a couple of things off, but it's not bad. It's not bad looking, but you know, it's also you know, generic. So we don't, we don't have anything there, uh, you know. I don't know if I will try to sell that. We'll see what I decide to do that with that piece right there. Um, I have another pair of earrings here kind of swimming in a giant Ziploc. All right, this is looking like it does not have a name on it, but also, you know, this is kind of giving me like lucky jewelry vibes a little bit. We have a pretty little gold tone brushed gold flower post earring with a pearl dangle. I actually think that these are very sweet looking earrings. I like that it's that brushed gold. Again, it kind of looks similar to what you see with J. Crew jewelry, but I feel like this flower motif, you tend to see this a lot with Lucky Brand, but it is not Lucky Brand, at least they're not marked. But these are cute earrings. That's what the back is looking like right there. These are nice, they're kind of tropical. They're like a decent size. You know, I don't think this is a type of size that's gonna really bother you or like weigh your, you know, your earlobes down. So we do have that little pair of earrings right there. What else? I'm gonna go for something that this bag right here looks a little chunky. I see a Ralph Lauren tag on it, which is always an okay thing, a good thing I say. Okay, yeah, so we have a brand new with tags, Lauren by Ralph Lauren, big statement D open link necklace. I think this is actually very nice. Uh, silver tone, big toggle clasp right there. Looks like they cut the price, the original price tag off. This is very nice. This brand actually sells very well for me. And I tend to see a lot of international buyers buying Lauren Ralph Lauren. I mean, because when we think of Ralph Lauren, this is the quintessential American brand. And you think about what he did in the eighties and he had all those like Southwestern kind of coats and everything. And he was known for his denim. And so, yeah, this is kind of like, um, you know, the diffusion line, Lauren Ralph Lauren named after his daughter, Dylan Warren and uh, sold more kind of like in mid-tier department stores. But yeah, this is fabulous. I think this is a great piece of jewelry. I really do. I think this would be, this is great for office wear. This is great for everyday wear. You wanna jazz up your outfit a little bit. I think it's fantastic. And in beautiful brand new condition. So that's excellent. I like that. I will definitely, definitely sell that guy right there. So what else? What have you guys been up to? Um, I feel like I took a weekend off and I feel like I've left for like three months. <laughs> um, what's the weather like by you? It's been, we are heading into rainy season here in New Orleans, which, you know, we're in a tropical zone here. It's like zone 10 agriculture <laughs> zone. So it's like legitimately tropical down here. So it's just the last couple of days, it's been very rainy today too. So, but um, last weekend was fabulous. We had really lovely weather and it wasn't humid at all. So that was a nice little switch up. Um, here we have just a rose gold, kind of very simple, modernist bangle cuff bracelet. Cuff bracelet, let's call it that because it's open in the back. This is nice too, but yes, it's also no kind of maker mark on it or anything whatsoever. So just another piece of kind of like generic no name jewelry. I'll put him that next to Mr. Cat over there. And we're getting down, <clears throat> excuse me, we're getting down to the wire here couple more pieces here. This is looking like another piece of J. Crew jewelry. And this is that signature oversized rhinestone look. This style J. Crew made tons of at one point. It was very, very popular. And uh, you can see here it has also that kind of like oversized prong setting on it. And this one is also in, in okay, well, a little bit of wear to the back to be completely honest, but this is an older style of jewelry when they made this. So we have this here, like I said, it, it actually looks pretty spectacular on camera. We've got some serious bling going on here. This jazz up your outfit, you know, could be good for evening wear as well. Like I said, um, it's kind of that brushed gold look to it. No, I'm gonna say this is more like an antiqued finish. Uh, but yeah, okay, 
Another J. Crew necklace. Not bad, not bad. Not in the best condition, but not in the worst condition either. So I will definitely attempt to sell that as well. And so what are you guys, are you guys still selling J. Crew jewelry? I feel like J. Crew jewelry is kind of in some regards hit the skids a little bit. <laughs> you know, it used to be so good, it used to do so well, but I don't know, maybe the market is just like too oversaturated at this point. And it just does definitely doesn't move like it used to. What kind of brands are you all seeing lately that are doing well for you? I mean, obviously the, the big name brands, I had just over the weekend, I listed a, um, a vintage Givenchy uh, groupois style pendant necklace. It was listed literally for an hour. And it so I had it listed for 180 and I sold it for $150. Sold super, super quick. Um, and then I sold this morning a Christian Jew or brooch and it had a little bit of wear to it. And uh, I think I listed it for 80, no, 75, and I ended up selling it for 55. So just taking the, you know, the um, condition of the piece into play, but that also sold for me in like a half hour. So, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's always, you don't find those brands too, too often, but the, you know, those guys definitely go really quickly for me whenever I, whenever I list them, whenever I sell them. So here we just have like a, a little, like a generic kind of pair of plastic acrylic. Yeah, acrylic, you know, green earrings here, teardrop shape, gold tone metal. Just very, I feel like we see the style so, so much coming just for mole jewelry kind of in general. So we have that pair. And then this last, this is it. Oh wait, no, there's one more. Okay, two left, two left. I have this dude right here. This is kind of like looking like a Chico style necklace to me. And we just have this big, oversized medallion pendant and we have uh, again kind of like that gunmetal style is on seed bead and the chain here you can see it's coiling a little bit doesn't want to stay straight maybe because it was in this plastic bag I don't know but yeah no name on this guy looks like Chico's is not Chico's but so we have this little generic seed bead and pendant necklace here I'll put that over there and then this is the last piece right here I didn't even see it because it's at the bottom it's, it's, it's got teeny tiny earrings in it Let's see, these guys do have something on the back. This one is saying 925, so it was sterling silver, uh, faux pearl pair of earrings. But uh, earrings, uh, these are actually very nice pair of earrings, uh, but the pearls are faux. So that's kind of like what they look like here. You can see they're more of like a modern design. That's what they look like. I bet you they're actually probably very comfortable to wear. They probably sit on your lobe very nicely. In terms of the faux pearl size, I think we're looking at about an eight millimeter size. You can see it's a cup setting. So the faux pearl just sits right on there. And so with pearls, obviously you may have heard some people rub them against their teeth and you will feel the grittiness if that icks you out. You could rub them against each other. And so if you feel a little bit of friction, then you know that the that the pearls are real. If it feels smooth and they glide against each other, then you know you're dealing with uh, some faux pearls. So, or glass sometimes. A lot of the vintage pieces are coated glass. So yeah, you guys, that's everything that we got in this thread up box. Again, we have 15 pieces. This was $48. I think some of these pieces will definitely help me make my money back. I think the Lauren Ralph Lauren necklace will definitely be great. I think the J. Crew earrings, these will definitely sell. I will put these little sterling silver earrings up for sell. I'll definitely sell this little Stella and Dot necklace. I think it was very cute, very perfect for summer. And you know, maybe the J. Crew, this J. Crew, this one as well, the big J. Crew rhinestone. But overall, I think this is kind of like where we're at. I think I don't think some of this other stuff will actually be worth selling. We got the pair of musical note earrings that will probably go to scrap. And so that's everything. I mean, let me know what you think. Do you think that this was worth $48? I, I feel like I always am like, mm, maybe reconsider thread up, but then I get sucked back in. I just can't, I can't turn away from thread up. It's addictive. <laughs> Let me know what you think, you guys. I really appreciate you tuning in with me and kind of sharing this unboxing with me and everything. I always appreciate you being here. Oh, and a little sterling silver bracelet. That, 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 that dude is definitely good, too. We'll sell him. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Give me a like on the way out and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you at the next one. Have a good weekend.